Ezra chapter 1. Now in the first year of Cyrus king of Persia, that Yahweh's word by Jeremiah's mouth might be accomplished, Yahweh stirred up the spirit of Cyrus king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom, and put it also in writing, saying, Thus says Cyrus king of Persia, Yahweh, the Elohim of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he has commanded me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Whoever there is among you of all his people, may his Eloha be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build the house of Yahweh, the Elohim of Israel. He is Elohim, which is in Jerusalem. Whoever is left in any place where he lives, let the men of his place help him with silver, with gold, with goods, and with animals, besides the freewill offering for Elohim's house which is in Jerusalem. Then the heads of the fathers' households of Judah and Benjamin, the priests and the Levites, and all whose spirit Elohim had stirred to go up rose up to build Yahweh's house which is in Jerusalem. All those who were around them strengthened their hands with vessels of silver, with gold, with goods, with animals, and with precious things, besides all that was willingly offered. Also Cyrus the king brought out the vessels of Yahweh's house Nebuchadnezzar had brought out of Jerusalem, and had put in the house of his Eloha. Even those Cyrus king of Persia brought out by the hand of Mithradath the treasurer, and counted them out to Sheshbazzar, the prince of Judah. This is the number of them, thirty platters of gold, one thousand platters of silver, twenty-nine knives, thirty bowls of gold, four hundred ten silver bowls of a second sort, and one thousand other vessels. All the vessels of gold and of silver were one thousand four hundred. Sheshbazzar brought all these up, when the captives were brought up from Babylon to Jerusalem.